here's another infinite limit. Sort of a competition almost. It's like saying, okay, so square root of x and natural log of x are both going to infinity. As x goes to infinity, the square root of x also goes to infinity. And as x goes to infinity, the natural log of x goes to infinity. So it's now a race. Which one is going to infinity faster? Well, square root of x is going fairly slowly. Square root of x looks like this. And y equals square root of x. And the natural log of x goes up pretty slowly too. y equals ln of x. Which one is going slower? Well, we, because it's going to infinity over infinity, we can use L'Hopital's rule. That is x to the 1 half power, which is 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. And the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Whoosh, let's not, okay, dividing by 1 over x is the same thing as multiplying by x over 1. And the other one is 1 over 2 square root of x times x over 1. This is x to the 1 power, that's x to the 1 half power. When all the dust settles, we have x goes to infinity of... Do you see this? x to the 1 over x to the 1 half, you subtract 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So we get x to the 1 half over 2, or the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 half times the square root of x, which is going to infinity, which tells us that in a race between the square root of x and the natural log of x, the numerator is going to infinity so much faster that the overall difference is still going to infinity. The top is going to infinity, the bottom is going to infinity, but natural log of x is going to infinity so much slower. And in fact, it doesn't matter, I mean, x squared, x cubed, sure, if this had been x cubed, then we would have had 3x squared times x over 1, which is 3x to the fourth, goes to infinity. So just as e to the x, or any exponential, is faster than any polynomial, the natural log of x is slower than just about anything, certainly slower than x to any power, even things like the square root of x, or the cube root of x, or something like that.